Hey, it's Jeff Wiseman. Got another problem with my BMW X5 2007 Model E70. This tail light stopped working. It's a loose wire inside. I've tried fucking with it for a year or so, and sometimes I wiggle the wires and get it to stay on, and sometimes it goes off, and I finally said the hell with it. Bought a new replacement off of eBay for $96 and I'm going to show you how to replace it. So watch this. Okay, here's the replacement. Again, got this off of eBay for $96. It looks pretty original and we'll compare it to the part I'm going to take out. But there's one cord connector that goes on here and it looks like there's one bolt right here that holds it on. It's a 10 millimeter. So all we are going to need is get you a small flashlight because it's going to be a little bit dark inside of here where we got to get to this from behind. You'll need a small flathead screwdriver to pry off the interior compartment light which is the light for the uh, cargo hold here and a 10 millimeter I'm assuming we're going to need an extension on it from what I've already done my homework on and that's it so let's do this okay so here's what we got to do there's a little slot in here, right there, on the left side of the light, about an inch away. This thing just pops open and comes out like that. If you want, you can pull this little micro thing out, but I'm not going to. And then from there, you can reach and that doesn't want to fit on there because that's at an odd angle almost lining up right with that so we're gonna have to change something on that okay so the angle of the attack to get this nut broke free is really tight without pulling this whole cover off. And that's what I'm trying to avoid doing. And also losing all my tools in here. And I think I just figured it out. Let's see if that's doing anything. Got it. Okay, so here's what I did. I got me a quarter inch straight nut driver attachment onto my 1032 and I just barely put that on there so it swivel the bolt wasn't too tight so I got it loose so anyways it's coming off right now I can do the rest by hand <laughs> famous last words famous last words You want to be careful not to drop this nut when it releases off of the bolt. And even if you do, it doesn't matter because there's another one on the replacement part. So there we go. Got the nut off. And this should just push straight through outside. So it goes like that. So it should push out like that. There's also this little black keeper, which is what's going to lock into the frame of the door, the metal part of the frame of the door. I'll give you a close up on this later, but needs to come off. So I'm going to try to pull that off with a pair of pliers. And then this thing should just pop right off on the outside. 
Oh, didn't need a pair of pliers. Able to get that off by hand. Okay, so now I took off the little cord connector off of the thing, so there's nothing attached to it now. It should just push right on out. I can't see any other reason or any other things that would be keeping it on there. Other than glue. Oh, it's, there you go. You just really got to push. I got it. I got it. Okay, so I got it off. That was it. The replacement has a, like a polyurethane gasket on here. And the original equipment had like a, I don't know, like a rubber silicone almost. That's why it was hard to get it off. All you gotta do is push and that comes off. So there's the old one. The new one will go in real easy. On the outside here, and I'll take a picture of this, as you can see right now, it's got a little rubbery silicone pliable stuff that needs to be cleaned up to get a good weatherproof seal back on here. So I'm gonna clean that up first. So here you can see the rubber gasketing material from the factory. It looks like some type of a applied silicone pliable rubber stuff that would come out of a gun from the factory. I'm going to get some uh, solvent and clean up around there just to be a little anal about it and then we'll shove this back together. Okay, as you can see I've got it all cleaned up. We're going to prepare the new replacement. Still got the plastic protective film on the outside. So all we got to do is take the nut off and the little support and if you can look right here these are little keepers so they just got to slip in from there and then pop in like that okay so I took the little nut and that little black keeper bracket off so now I'm just gonna come over here and make sure that we get this thing properly you can look at this side over here and see how that goes in so these little wedge things got to be like that you push and then that right there goes in that's all there is to it from the outside the rest is the inside about bolting that back together but that's it right there. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in my wiring harness just to get that out of my way. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my new black bracket support and get it lined up and fitted properly. There's only one way for that to go in there. You know what I really should have is my headlamp on, because that would make it a lot easier for me to see what I'm doing. Okay. My dentist will like this better with a headlight, instead of me putting a flashlight in my mouth to hold this. Now I can see what I'm trying to do and 
when I accomplish it. I'm going to take that nut which I put on here. I'm going to back it off completely. Now I can see what I'm doing. To get this back on there. It just keeps wanting to slide off. That's what it is. It's just wanting to slide off of that nut because that black thing needs to be anchored to the frame. I think I got it. I think we're good. Oh, I'm good. Yeah, I just needed a little bit more light on the subject. This is definitely one of those things where you definitely need to be mechanically inclined and dexterous with your fingers. And hey, I'm very good with my fingers. <laughs> okay. And now I'll just go back to how I originally using this, not even installed, but just loosely on the end to tighten it down. That's in. That's in. And that is tightened down. And this is all secure. Same tolerances as the other side. So that's it. One little bolt. Pretty easy to do. You just gotta be a little patient and of course have a good selection of tools. And it's fixed. That's all there is to it. That's all there was. It's fixed. Now you can take the plastic protective cover off. And then on the inside, just make sure you snap back the interior bay cargo light plastic thing back into its thing. And you're done. Easy to do. You can do this yourself if you got a few tools and a little patience. It's still going to take you less time than to drive to the dealership, fill out the paperwork, drop the car off, come back another day later, and pick it up. Do the shit yourself, man. It's Jeff Wiseman. See ya.